Several Rockford businesses are awarded federal funding supporting the protection of survivors of domestic violence. 23 News reporter Sydney Stoffragan joins local leaders to discuss how the funds will directly impact the Rockford community. Domestic violence is one of the top reported crimes in the area, making up about 40% of the city's violent crime. 17th District Congressman Eric Sorensen helped secure funds for the Rockford area, hoping to improve the lives of people impacted by domestic violence. Over the next three years, $600,000 of federal funding will help protect families and hold offenders accountable. One organization benefiting from this money is the Children's Safe Harbor, a place that offers refuge to, chil to children impacted by domestic violence at home. Sorensen says these funds will keep the doors open, but there are still dozens on the waiting list. It's also important that the services that Children's Safe Harbor provides remain free. They have to be free. They have to be open uh, for the people who need that and the children who need that. It means that we can stay in service for three years. It means that we can help kids. I think we have a lot of resources in this community. I think we've got a lot of people fighting for resources, and so I'm optimistic. Children's Safe Harbor is a safe place for children to connect with family through supervised visits. The funds will allow the building to expand its resources to help more families. Thank you, Sydney. The Winnebago County Domestic Violence Coordinated Court is one of five courts awarded $150,000 to become a mentor court. This means it will provide resources and information to smaller courts across the state.